Welcome back to week one. This week we are exploring the normative and theoretical basis for the protection of freedom of expression. Why should we value free speech? We've looked at several theories, including that on the search for truth, the theory on the importance of freedom of expression for good governance, for a proper uh, government decision making. And we've also looked at uh, uh, a third theory, which is that through freedom of expression, we create, we build tolerant society. That, uh, as I had mentioned in, in a previous segment, is a very complex theory, but we are very lucky in that uh, the, the person behind it is, uh, is with us uh, today. Uh, it is uh, President Lee Bollinger of uh, Columbia University, very well-known, noted First Amendment scholar and the author of The Tolerant Society. And uh, President Bollinger will um, explain to us the, um, what brought him to uh, developing this very interesting and creative approach to why we should value free speech. So we're very fortunate to have you here because most of the theorists we have um, considered are all dead <laughs> from the 18th and 19th century. So uh, it's fantastic to be able to, to talk to you directly and um, particularly about this theory, which um, as you know, is, uh, is uh, something that I am very interested in personally. But before going uh, jumping into tolerance and free speech. I was wondering whether you could uh, tell us a little bit more about um, your personal um, views on, on the other uh, theories, the, the other doctrines regarding free speech, particularly the importance of the search for truth, uh, personal autonomy, um, or um, the importance of building good governance through free speech. So, uh, as you say, Agnes, uh, there have been three primary theories uh, about freedom of speech uh, that have developed over many centuries, but uh, really crystallized uh, in the United States in the cases going back 100 years now, almost 100 years. The search for truth uh, is a, a classic kind of uh, way of thinking about freedom of speech and press. Uh, and the notion is that uh, you cannot uh, really hope uh, to achieve over time an understanding uh, of what is uh, truth without having the opportunity to test your ideas, to hear ideas, to discuss things with people, to think uh, freely, uh, and that we value truth uh, so much uh, that we are prepared to live in a society that may seem somewhat chaotic and may uh, actually be uh, dangerous at times and may be offensive uh, at times, but our commitment to understanding the truth and all that will come from that uh, requires this kind of uh, openness. I am very attracted to that idea. Mm -hmm. uh, I think anybody uh, in sort of modern life feels that that is a uh, uh, the basis of a, of a good life. Mm -hmm. uh, the second uh, theory, uh, and I think the one that has most captured uh, the essence of freedom of speech and press in the last 50 years, uh, and the one we're really working with today, I think, is the primary theory, uh, is that if you're committed to a democracy, if you're committed to self-government, um, then you really have to allow the public to be able to debate to express their views and to come up with what they think the policies and practices of the government should be. So it follows from a, a commitment to democracy that you will then have a commitment to free speech. The third rationale, and I think probably the, it's fair to say, the least um, subscribed to, at least in the jurisprudence of free speech, uh, is that uh, Free speech is, or f expression, is part of the essence of being a human being, part of our sense of self-determination, part of our sense of our own autonomy, uh, and that you don't have to justify free speech 
by looking at the benefits to society of truth or democracy or good policies. Uh, it really springs from what it means to be human uh, and that that uh, is sufficient to justify uh, the principles that we have. Uh, my own view is that the um, search for truth and the self-government uh, democracy rationales are the most, uh, I think, um, uh, the, they're the, the soundest, really, okay. for modern mm -hmm. life. Uh, and I think uh, that's uh, principally because uh, the uh, appeal of, of those notions, of those principles, uh, has struck accord with uh, both not only judges but I think the broader society yeah. mm -hmm. and has brought about a collective commitment to this that I think is very valuable. Uh, so those are the theories, that's my general view.